students from Blake. Washington Lee. And Jeb Stewart meet today on a playoff game of It's Academic. Hello everyone, I'm Hillary Howard. This is the opening round. You know how it works. Each team begins with 100 points. 10 up for a right answer, 10 down for a wrong answer. Contestants in studio don't see what you do on the screens at home. Let's begin. All answers end with I see. These questions may be a bit icky. All your answers must end in the letters I see. Ick. Ready? Also called milk acid, this compound is Stuart. Uh, lactic. Lactic acid it is. This nerve transmits information from Blake. Optic. Yes. This adjective describes tranquility in the preamble. Washington Lee. Apathetic. A Apathetic. No, domestic. This plant supposedly repels vampires. Blake. Garlic. Garlic it is. This ancient philosophy taught indifference to plain. Blake. Stoic. Stoic. Yes. Article 1, Section 8 of the U.S. Constitution contains this 18th clause. Blake. Elastic. Yeah. This is the alphabet used in Russia. Blake. In 3, 2, 1, Cyrillic. This element with atomic number 33 is a deadly poison. Washington Lee. Arsenic. Arsenic it is, and that's the end of the round. It's Academic with Hillary Howard. Now in its 57th season. And for 50 years, proudly sponsored by Giant. Hello, everybody. We are so glad you've joined us on this Saturday morning for an exciting playoff game. Let's meet the teams. And we begin with Blake High School from Silver Spring, Maryland. Caroline, how you doing today? Hi, I'm a 16-year-old sophomore, and I'd like to thank Ms. Rowe and her APS history class for coming out to support us. Awesome. Lily? Hi, I'm an 18-year-old senior, and I would like to thank our coach emeritus, Mr. Kevin Keegan, as well as Giant Food for their continued sponsorship of this program. Always take an, you know, a moment to applaud Giant for its... Sponsorship. And Joseph. Hi, I'm a 15-year-old sophomore, and I would like to thank our parents and teachers for helping to prepare us for today. All right, guys, you know these questions are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer. Take one word from each column, and you can name what large geographical area on the border between China and Mongolia. Gobi Desert. Yes. A wild pig to drill a hole. Here you have clues to a homonym. What two words that sound alike but are spelled differently? Four. Yes. Cure ant. You can cure this anagram if you rearrange the letters to name what mythical creature, half man, half horse. Centaur. Yeah. Snowy egret, tiger, mule. Which one of these animals is not a separate species but rather a hybrid of two different animals? Mule. Yes. I regard every social democrat as an enemy of the empire. These words reflect the thinking of what Kaiser, who led Germany into World War I. Willem? Yes. Blake, nice job. 230 points. From Washington Lee High School in Arlington, Virginia, Ben, tell us about yourself. Hey, I'm an 18-year-old senior, and I'd like to thank our alternate Duncan and our teammate Kayla for coming out today. All right, Nikki. Hi, I'm a 16-year-old junior, and I'd like to thank our coaches, Ms. Sharon, Ms. Sotomayor, for always supporting us. And Miles. Hi, I'm Miles. I'm a 16-year-old junior, and I'd like to thank all of our friends and family for coming out to support us today, especially our number one superfan, Dr. Stephanie Nichols. <laughs> all right, superfan, here we go. By choosing one word from each column, you can name what mountain range on the Tennessee-North Carolina border? Answer? Green Hills? Nope. Great Smoky. A measure of time belonging to us. You are looking at clues to a homonym. What two words that sound alike but are spelled differently? Hours. Hours. Hours? Yeah. Praise up. You can up your score if you rearrange these letters to name what material that the ancient Egyptians used instead of paper or parchment. Papyrus. Correct. Caspian Sea, Sea of Marmara, North Sea. When poet John Maysfield wrote, 
I must go down to the sea again. The closest sea to his English home was which of these? North Sea. North Sea? Yeah. If we can see the horizon, we want to know what's beyond it. These are the words of what astronaut, the second man to walk on the moon. John Glenn. Glenn? Uh, nope, Buzz Aldrin was the second guy. But nice job, Washington Lee, 160 points. From Falls Church, Virginia, Jeb Stewart High School. Hello, Leticia. Hello, um, my name is Leticia Lash. I'm a 15 year old sophomore, and I'd like to thank my mom and dad for all their support. <laughs> That's a good one. Long, how are you? Uh, my name is Long Lou. I'm a 17 year old senior from uh, Jeb Stewart High School, and I would like to thank uh, General Jeb Stewart for losing the Civil War. <laughs> and Kurt. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kurt. I'm a 16 year old junior. I'd like to thank Daniel Henry, Richard Armando, and my parents. All right, guys. No one's ever said that before from the Stewart team, by the way. <laughs> Take one word from each column, and you'll get the name of what South Pacific Island, the world's second largest. New Guinea. Yeah. Your ocular organ, first person singular. Here you have clues to a homonym. What two words that sound alike but are spelled differently? I. I, it is. Mugs falter. You won't falter if you can rearrange these letters to name what warm ocean current that flows northeasterly across the Atlantic. Gulf Stream. Yes. Fingers, spine, elbow. Which of these body parts names a group of lakes in New York State? Answer? Finger? Yeah, it's the finger lakes. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. And very little was impossible for the man who spoke these words, what ancient Macedonian king known as the Great. Alexander. Yep, Aroni. Jeb Stewart, 210 points. That's the end of the round. We'll be right back. Pro tip for fruit lovers, Giant has unbelievable produce prices. So you'll never have to choose between your favorites. I thought I was your favorite. That's right, honey. <laughs> Bye. Take a fresh look at Giant's produce prices. From delicious recipes to fresh time savers, Savory Magazine is full of the things that make life savory. Flip or click through today with copies in store and online. When we say Weather Alert Day, we're alerting you earlier on every one of your screens. Let's take a look at Storm Team 4 radar. Utilizing our one-of-a-kind radar, keeping you ahead of the storm. Constantly updating whenever you need us until the threat is over. So when you see this image, Storm Team 4 is working for you. NBC4 is committed to serving the educational and informational needs of children. The station's children's television program reports describing our efforts are available through the Federal Communications Commission website at publicfiles.fcc.gov. Welcome back. Each contestant in today's match will receive tickets to a Washington Nationals baseball game. The new season is underway, so plan ahead to enjoy yourself at Nats Park. To purchase tickets, go to nationals.com. And while everyone's at the ballpark, do visit our Facebook page. We would love if you liked us. All right, let's recap the scores before we dive into this round. Blake, 230. Washington Lee, 160. Jeb Stewart, 210. All right, questions are worth 20 points up or down in this round. This is Willem Kolf, the Dutch physician, who first developed a machine for dialysis of what renal organs? Blake. Kidney. Yeah. Rainbows are frequently seen at Victoria Falls, which straddles the border. Blake. South Sudan? Nope. It's between Z initial countries. Zambia is what we were looking for. Here you see hundreds of what stones that title a 19th century Moonstones. Lake. Moonstones is right. What is the area of this square if its diagonal is 20? Anybody? The answer is 200. Here you have King Philippe, current monarch, Blake. Spain. No, Belgium. This old cartoon depicted the dangers of the passenger elevator that had been patented in 18... Blake. Otis. Otis it is. This is a bust of what second Roman emperor, the sec... Washington Lee. Answer? Tiberius. Yeah, it's Tiberius. 
A 19th century version of the company limo, this canoe belonged to the British trading company named for what largest Canadian Lee? Quebec? No, Hudson Bay. And that's the end of the round. We'll be right back. The more you see. Look at that. How good is that? The more you do. I truly am inspired. The more you know. Weekends on NBC. Due to coverage of Barclays Premier League, the more you know lineup can be seen at the following times. Pro tip for fruit lovers, Giant has unbelievable produce prices. So you'll never have to choose between your favorites. I thought I was your favorite. That's right, honey. <laughs> Bye. Take a fresh look at Giant's produce prices. From delicious recipes to fresh time savers, Savory Magazine is full of the things that make life savory. Flip or click through today with copies in store and online. Doug, are you excited about NBC Four Weather Day with the Nats? I'm so excited, but you really think they're going to come at 9.30 in the morning? If you forecast, they will come. If you forecast, they will come. Welcome back. You know, it takes a lot to be on. It's academic. Each of these teams has already won its first round match, so we're, we're in the playoffs. Uh, let's meet the coaches and faculty that help prepare them. And we begin with Blake. Lily, who's with you? Behind me is our principal, Mr. Sinclair, and then directly behind me is our coach, Mr. Caulfield, and behind me is our other coach, Mr. Kalina. Very good to see you guys. From Arlington, Washington, Lee, who's with you, Nikki? Uh, on my right, we have our coach and math teacher, Ms. Cher. Uh, directly behind me is our IB coordinator, Ms. Cantor. And on my left is our uh, coach and biology teacher, Ms. Sotomayor. Lovely to have you guys. And from Jeb Stewart Long, who's behind you? Uh, directly behind me is uh, Mr. Russell, our uh, discreet math teacher and coach. <laughs> <laughs> he was just doing a mock choke, you know, right behind you. <laughs> Good to have you all. All right, so it's the fun part of the competition. We have these three lovely manila envelopes with important questions inside. Blake will answer questions from one of them first, and Washington Lee gets to choose which packet it will be. Three. 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 There are eight questions in this envelope, as you know. If you get them all right, 25 point bonus. All right. Practicing penmanship for hours each day later came in handy for what American who made the first and largest signature on the Declaration of Independence? Hancock. John Hancock, yeah. The phrase, as good as gold, comes from Charles Dickens' story, A Christmas Carol, where Dickens used it to describe what tiny son of Bob Cratchit? Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim, yes. According to Wikipedia, German Chancellor Angela Merkel has in her office a picture of what 18th century Russian empress called the great. Catherine? Yes, here's your science question. The rate of flow of electrons through a wire is measured in which of these units? Amperes? Yeah. Because of the many fossils found there, the nickname Dinosaur Valley has been given to an area south of what capital of Argentina? Buenos Aires. It is Buenos Aires. Shakespeare thought it a dangerous sign that what character from Julius Caesar had a lean and hungry look? Cassius. Yeah. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. 18. You're right. Even though his first name had win in it, what Mexican war general had the bad luck to lose the 1852 presidential election to Franklin Pierce? Winfield Scott. And you just won a 25-point bonus play. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, Washington Lee is up. Stewart, packet one or two? Two. Was that peace or two? One of those. <laughs> okay. All right. In an effort to protect swimmers, little ripper drones are being programmed to spot what dangerous fish that can be mako or great white. 
Sharks? Yes. Author William Faulkner lived most of his life and set much of his literary work in what southern state whose capital is Jackson? Mississippi. Mississippi? It is Mississippi. What French Sun King kept on his toes by dancing ballet and introducing high heels to the world of fashion? Louis the 14th. That's right. Here's your science question. During one day of revolution in its orbit, the Earth moves approximately how many degrees? 124 or 360? One. One degree is right. The notorious fugitive slave law was part of what pre-Civil War compromise named for the year in which it was passed? 1850. The 1850 compromise? Yes, that's it. You may have second thoughts about mountain climbing after reading Into Thin Air by what author? Answer? Dickens? No, John Krakauer wrote that. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression for x equals 4. Zero? Yes, it is. The English author Joseph Conrad was actually born of Polish parents in a region that is now what country whose capital is Kiev? Ukraine. Ukraine? Yep, nice job, Washington Lee. 300 points. Get number one for Jeb Stewart. When a girl named Arachne challenged the goddess Athena to a weaving contest, Athena punished her insolence by changing her into what small eight-legged creature? A spider. A spider is right. There's a possibility Earth will be hit on February 1st, 2019 by what kind of celestial body, many of which are in orbit between Mars and Jupiter? Asteroid. Asteroid is it. Medieval peasants were not slaves, but were legally bound to the land and are usually described by what term that, like slave, begins with S? Surf. Surf is correct. Here's your science question. Which of these rays emitted from a radioactive substance is negatively charged? Beta. Yes. Dating back to the year 1502, a Spanish phrase that means rich coast has been used to name what Central American country whose capital is San Jose? Answer? Chile? No, Costa Rica. Scholars believe that Shakespeare wrote at least one scene for a drama about what early 16th century political figure, the author of Utopia? The answer is Sir Thomas More. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. One. Yep, you got it. A private joining the Royal Air Force in 1922 under the name T.E. Shaw was actually what Englishman who had become a hero in Arabia during World War I? Lawrence. Lawrence of Arabia, you are right. Jeb Stewart, 330 points. Coming back with the grab bag round next. Poverty's furniture helps your home look perfect, even when life isn't. Are you sure you don't want me to call an exterminator? Oh, come on, it's just a raccoon that got in the attic. And there she is. Oh, look, babies! Ah! Darren! Darren! Ah! They're on the move! Ah! Honey, what's going on? She's got me cornered! How big is she? It's a call! Hurry in. Everything in the store is on sale. Haverty's Life looks good. Today, we're finally getting our bathtub redone. We weren't happy with it. Oh, we didn't want the headaches of demolition. Or the days without our bathroom. Then a friend told us about Bath Fitter and their unique tub over tub process. There's no demolition, and they install in as little as a day. They also have a seamless wall for a watertight fit. And Bath Fitter has a lifetime guarantee. What a difference. Finally, a bathtub I love. Call today for our best offer. Well, hello. Uh, you've rejoined us for the grab bag round where absolutely anything can happen. It's always an exciting round. Let's recap the scores before we begin. Blake, 435 points. Washington Lee, 300 points. Jeb Stewart, 330 points. <laughs> I 
I know you know this because you've been on It's Academic before, but in this round, questions are worth 20 points, up or down. The visual questions are worth 30 points. Here we go. The only one of the Great Lakes entirely within the borders of Blake. Michigan. It is Lake Michigan. Using a probe tipped with human nose hair, scientists drilled 1,000 feet into the earth to extract the remains of what kind of insects of the order Lepidoptera? Lake. Butterfly? Yeah. Many of our states have long mottos, but California's motto is what one word? Blake? Eureka. Eureka is right. On your screens for 30 points. I'm sure his beard was a source of great pride to this man. What American who served as Abraham Lincoln's Secretary of War? The answer is Edwin Stanton. On clean shirt days, he went abroad and paid visits. Was Boswell's observation, Blake? Samuel Johnson. Yeah, it's Dr. Samuel Johnson. A diplomat posted to Accra is serving in the capital of what West African Blake? Ghana. Ghana's right. Though illegal, mongoose snake fighting contests still take place on what O-initialed Pacific Island, where the U.S. maintains Blake? Okinawa. Okinawa is correct. On your screens for 30 points. Against the humiliating bondage of a thousand years. These are the opening words of the national anthem sung in Ouagadougou, the capital, Blake. Burkina Faso. It is the capital of Burkina Faso. Though he met with U.S. troops under the flag of truce, what leader of the Seminoles was captured in 18 Blake? Osceola. Yeah, it is. Though she never went to law school, what heroine from The Merchant of Venice disguised herself? Blake. Portia. Yes, it is Portia. Of the four public figures described in the book, Eminent Victorians, the only woman was what Crimean War nurse? Blake. Nightingale. Florence Nightingale is right. On your screens for 30 points. Canada's Banff National Park, with its breathtaking scenery, is in what Canadian province where Edmonton is capital? Washington Lee. Alberta. Yeah, you buzzed in and you got it right. Good job. <laughs> A book called Centuries contains the predictions of what 16th century astrologer and physician whose prophecies are still being Stuart. Nostradamus is right. Another buzz and another correct answer. The 1842 treaty that fixed the border between Canada and Maine was named for Daniel Webster and what British official? The answer is Ashburton. Cooks use flour and eggs, but what trio used eye of newt and toe of frog to cook late? The witches, yeah. three witches. You're right, the witches. What Polish-born composer who made his debut at? Chopin. Yep, it is Chopin. Choice. Which one of these types of nuclear emissions is most easily stopped by air? Washington Lee. Alpha. Alpha particles is correct. Glass fibers superior to those in fiber optic cables are produced by a sponge known as a Venus flower basket, which is a member of what phylum? The answer is periphera. What synonym for stolen describes the letter in the title of a short story, Stuart? <laughs> so, shouldn't have done that. Scarlet. <laughs> no, purloined, but that was a good guess. Any study of libel would include the landmark case of what colonial publisher? Blake. Singer? Yep, John Peter Singer. Science fiction author Damon Knight wrote a book with what title? That can read as either two letters or as the Roman numerals for 105. Washington Lee. What, defer? CV. CV is right. Oh. Oh, I didn't hear it. The game's... A <laughs> That's it. That's the end of the game. <laughs> Pro tip for fruit lovers, Giant has unbelievable produce prices. So you'll never have to choose between your favorites. I thought I was your favorite. That's right, honey. <laughs> Bye. Take a fresh look at Giant's produce prices.
From delicious recipes to fresh time savers, Savory Magazine is full of the things that make life savory. Flip or click through today with copies in store and online. My name is Vinay Madan. My name is Dr. Robert Worthington Kirsch. My name is Dr. Desiree Clark, and I'm a physician at Vein Clinics of America. When it comes to correcting progressive vein disease, experience counts. Vein Clinics of America is the oldest and largest network of vein treatment centers in the country. Vein disease is not just a cosmetic issue. It's a progressive disease that can be a painful, serious medical condition. The sooner it's treated, the more we can reduce the chance of future symptoms. Our nationwide team of physicians and vein specialists have performed over 1.5 million successful corrective procedures. We're the experts in the treatment of progressive vein disease. Most treatments are minimally invasive with little to no downtime. Often patients don't realize how much better their legs feel until we correct the problem. See the difference experience makes. Call or click now to book your free consultation. This is all we do every day. Vein Clinics of America. Healthy looks good. 800-581-0712. The, the number, number one, one selling Ford dealer. dealer. The number one selling Ford dealer. The number one selling Ford dealer. The number one selling Ford dealer. Coons Ford in Falls Church, Sterling, and Baltimore. We're so happy to be here to see you both in the partnership we have. You both have local connections. Well, Washington is so important for me. I got to be the White House correspondent and live in Washington, and it was always a dream. And you have like a Virginia Washington connection. I do. I used to work at Scoops. That was the ice cream place right near my house <laughs> when I was a kid. I went to Virginia Tech. Every place we've worked, we feel like there is there's a connection with us and that community and that town. And we still claim you because you work with well, us. I claim you. Yes, I do. <laughs> The scores are now official in this playoff game. We begin with Jeb Stewart from Falls Church, Virginia. Kurt Long and Leticia, 330 points. From Arlington, Washington, Lee, Miles, Nikki, and Ben, 370 points. And coming back for the semifinals, blowing it up, Blake High School from Silver Spring, Joseph, Lily, and Caroline, 700 points. We've got another playoff match for you next week when we have Georgetown Day, Sherwood, and Holton Arms. Until then, I'm actually, I'm always Hillary Howard. I don't know why I say that. I'm Hillary Howard. Have a great Saturday. See you next time. Come on down, everybody. SUVs.